The emotional side of cleaning and what no one tells you, I'm going to tell you today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I am going to do my best to help you find an answer. All right, so if you're new here, we are here five days a week. I recommend that you subscribe to the show. When you come back to YouTube, we will be somewhere on the page, like going, hey, how you doing? And we will remind you that we have answers for your questions. So come on back. We would love to have you as part of our ecosystem. All right. So today we have a woman who has been, we've been following her. She's been following us. She's part of our network here. And she's been helping her elder mother move to her home. She's going to be caring for her elder mother for the remainder of her mother's days. And so she wrote in, and I would love to share with you kind of a continuation from a show we did a few weeks ago. She says, thank you so much for answering my question. It's been tough, but my mother finally moved in this past weekend. So yay, super excited about that. I've given her a great looking entire floor of my home. She had two homes in two states and an overabundance of possessions. So many bedding sets. One house had room for nine to 11 people to sleep. And 11 cookbooks, which again, it took her about an hour as she paged through each one to determine which she wanted to bring. She brought six with her. And she mostly doesn't cook anymore. She's a great painter, so she came with her paintings, which we will find room on the walls to hang as many as she likes that are presentable. But also, she brought additional dozens and dozens of frames and mats for future paintings, and she hasn't painted in like 10 or 12 years. You see where this is turning into a small problem. She says, I would also like to say that she's almost 80 years old, and she's always kept things immaculate. And her thinking and keeping these things was that she would eventually give them to her kids. Well, I explained that gently, that though we appreciate the wonderful thought, we're all in our late 40s and 50s, and we have established lives now. So many that include cookware and furniture and all the stuff that comes with living. Well, it's been very emotional for both of us. Now, she goes on and she shares a true confession. And this took a lot of vulnerability and a lot of authenticity on her part. Listen to this. She says, I'm not ready for this responsibility. I'm sad to say I was great with the way things were prior and I feel forced into this new life by guilt and pressed from my siblings and their wives. Lots of layers to unwrap. <laughs> Thanks for addressing this topic. And from the comments, I know I'm not the only one. All right. This was really interesting to me for a couple of reasons. As our parents get older, there comes a responsibility and an expectation sometimes that as children, we have the skills and the ability and the finances and the resources and the patience and the compassion to care for our parents. And if that is not the case, now is the time to have that conversation with our other siblings. Now, I love the fact that this woman is so caring and so giving. She has agreed to have her mother come live at her house. But right now, and the mother's only been here since the weekend, right? Her mother moved in this last weekend. But already there's this enormous burden that's on this one particular person who at 40 or 50 years old is in the prime of their life, right? I don't know what kind of a business they run and I don't know what their family responsibilities are. But for you to clear out an entire floor of your house so that your mother could be comfortable, I mean, God bless you, right? That is amazing to give the mother that kind of comfort and care and then to replace the designs on your walls and the decorations with her paintings and make her feel completely welcome. I mean, God bless you. That, that's just amazing and far beyond the call of duty. Now, you did mention in this, and I'm speaking to the woman that wrote in, that you have other siblings and their spouses. And I would love to know what the conversation is with those other siblings and spouses. Is mom coming to stay with you for a period of time or will she be here for the rest of her life? And there are families that then rotate the parent so that the parent gets to visit and spend adequate time with each of the kids before the end of their time is up, right? But the burden becomes such a burden when someone goes from not having a, a full caregiving person living with them to suddenly this is a full-time job. And as parents get older, their needs and their responsibilities only increase. And so if right now you're feeling guilted by this particular scenario. And I did hear the words, this was emotionally trying for both of you because her going through all of her things and wanting to keep all of her things and, you know, hang on to them is, is a serious situation, especially to go from two houses to the floor of one house, right? So there is a lot of downsizing. I can tell that has already happened. So I'm, I'm really interested 
to hear the continuation of the story. And I, I do want to encourage all of those of you that are in the same types of scenarios that you use this time right now to have the conversations with your living parents about the stuff that they have and how it's going to be displaced or dispersed once they are finished with it. Now, I know that since the COVID era, my family has been having family reunions every single Sunday night via Zoom. And I'm super excited for that because we are a large family. I'm one of 19 kids. And so it has given us a chance to reconnect with each other, even though we are all across the United States and our spouses and our kids and whatever, but it's given us a chance to reconnect with everybody. But we too have been having these end of life conversations with our parents and with each other about what are the next steps, because I don't want any one particular person to have the burden or to feel guilted or to feel responsible or to financially have to cover all of those expenses when that wasn't in their budget, it wasn't in their plans, it wasn't whatever, right? That needs to be negotiated and dealt with from all of the members of the family. And so I don't want any one particular person to be fully responsible. I want everyone to take responsibility and to participate. And so I would love, I would love to hear the rest of the story because I don't want you to go for the next I don't know, how long does mom live? Another 15, 20 years? It's possible, right? People are living older and older now, and it is possible, but that is a huge expense and a huge just reconnoiter in your entire life in order to make mom comfortable. And I love the fact that you're willing to do that. I'm sure that your mother is also blessed by your kindness and your generosity, but I do wanna make sure that you still have a life as well. And so this is a very interesting conversation and it was interesting that so many people jumped in on our comments below and left their, their comments and notes. So again, I would love to open this conversation up. Please jump in, add your two cents. If you have personal experience or you're working through some of the same things, we would love to hear your story as well. Share with us what the next steps are and how we can ease this woman through this process. I know we can all learn from each other, and I welcome that here in this forum. All right, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.